Hi, welcome to a gaming tier list guide video. Today we're here with Dave the Diver and we're gonna be looking at how do you auto resupply your restaurant. So we've already set out our menu for the day. It's shark night, so we've got the shark omelet and the deep fish tempura. This is all I have of both and this is the proper night to use these items. Now these come, if you look down here, at the red dish icon, they have 10 dishes and 17 dishes. And the way it's gonna work is, they're gonna prepare all 10 and all 17, and whether or not they're ordered, doesn't matter. Uh, at the end of the night, they'll be disposed of and wasted. All right? Now, I do have two other sh shark sushis on the menu tonight. Uh, and I've got one set to two of two and one of one. You can choose either way you wanna do it. And what you'll do is you'll go and let's just add another shark dish to the menu, right? So hammerhead sushi, uh, let's add it. Okay, let's just do one and then just do auto supply and then click okay. And the thing about it is, is that like as your restaurant runs, you'll just automatically resupply the dishes. It's gonna increase the prep time a little bit, but if I turn the sushi on for the night, you'll see that those dishes actually now don't run out. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna save you so much fish night after night because you don't have to do the math or guess. Like a lot of folks will be like, figure out how many people gave you a thumbs up the previous night and then put out about that much sushi. But as you can see, even on a very important night like Shark Night, the restaurant's operating just fine. Uh, the menu is completely full and everyone is just working and taking care of things and we're not wasting any of the sushi so you don't have to go and say hey it's shark night let me just load up my whole entire menu with all my shark get to the night and find out like half of it's like sold and then be out now you notice the hammerhead shark i didn't have really a lot of it's actually ran out of my inventory so i'll either have to go hunt some more or get them out of my hatchery this is a great way to avoid the Maki Sushi scenario too, where if you're like, well, I had about 40 people come yesterday, I'll put out 40 dishes and you get like 70 people. Well, they just got 30 Maki Sushis. And if we look at the menu, I think it's like uh, Noramaki. It doesn't even have a price. I, I think they just tip and leave. Um, so our night's wrapping up here. Um, let's see how well we did. You can see we still have sushi. Now we will waste one. Um, and then we've wasted a lot of our special sushi. So we wanted to redo this night for sure. Um, hopefully it doesn't auto save. Always save before a big night like this. But yeah, we did really well, uh, income wise. Uh, looks like they weren't overly happy since I wasn't tending to any of their needs. Um, and that's another just interesting gimmick about the game on these special nights, depending on how well you do. Uh, they'll either be like cheering for you or booing at you. It's it's kind of interesting. All right. This is the gaming tier list guide. Thank you, guys. Uh, hope this helped you in your Dave the Viver adventure.